I was on Tumblr.com the other day checking my dashboard and I was wondering just who is behind all this. So I decided to stop by their Park Avenue offices and talk to Marco Arment, their lead developer, in my quest to find the best job ever. Marco. Hi. Hey, how's it going, man? Anthony, nice to meet you. This is, uh, this is interesting. Is this straight product placement or is there a reason for uh, this? I wish. No, it'd be great <laughs> if Cook paid, paid me for this. Uh, no, so... Uh, yeah, I stand while I'm working. Uh, I started out as a back problem a couple years ago, and uh, I kind of just liked it ever since then. Do you actually drink these? No, I hate soda. <laughs> David, the uh, the founder and CEO, does a lot of the uh, the front end stuff and the graphical stuff and the design, um, but most of the back end stuff is all me. And how did you get started here? Uh, basically, David had a job posting two and a half years ago, and uh, he wanted consulting project to help with work on his project. One day we were between clients, and he said, "Hey, I've had this idea for a while." Uh, let's start up this thing called Tumblr, and uh, let's see how much we can build on, on it in a couple of weeks. What, what kind of training and education did you have? Um, being a geek since middle school really helps. <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, I, I do have a computer science degree, okay. but uh, computer science degrees are, they don't really uh, teach you how to program. It's, it's more about the academic, how to learn, all that stuff. Sure. Um, it certainly helps, but if you aren't already a programmer at heart, uh, it's not really worth <laughs> much. We're sponsored by Dice.com, which is the career hub for tech insiders. So we're kind of asking everybody for their inside tip. How do you differentiate yourself from other people that have sort of carbon copy resumes to you? How do you make yourself the, the candidate to have? The best thing to do is to have some kind of side projects that you created, whether it was part of school, whether you did it on your own, have some kind of code and some kind of project that you can bring people and show people to say, look, I did this. I didn't need to do this. It wasn't part of some lab assignment. I just did this on my own, and it's great. What was your side project before you came here to work on Tumblr? What kind of stuff had you done um, beforehand? I made a really horrible game that I have started <laughs> about five times and never finished. What was it? Uh, it was a clone of the, of the famous old game Scorched Earth. Uh, oh, kind of cool. like tank wars, little artillery tanks shooting each other. Yeah, kind of like a worms thing. Yeah, it's like worms but with tanks and not cute. <laughs> How did you know that you wanted to start here at Tumblr? Uh, when you go into an interview, you have to be interviewing them because you're going to spend your entire day there, every weekday, for the next year or two at least. It has to be a place that is worthy of your time. And this is totally a job that you can be proud of. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thanks for talking to us today, Marco. It was some great advice. Thanks, Anna. Thanks for having us out. Like the looks of Marco's job? Our sponsor, Dice.com, has literally thousands of available lead developer positions. Some are at up-and-comers the size of Tumblr, while others are with established heavy hitters. Search lead developer and have a look for yourself. Maybe you'll find your best job ever.